I'm just saying the EU regulations absolutely commit you to a physical border post along the Scottish-English border. Now, you may wish Brexit didn't happen, but it has happened. And where we are now, entering the EU and being part of the single market requires a physical border with England for an independent Scotland. Now, the only ways out of that are you can persuade the EU to give up on the single market regulations as they apply to Scotland, and good luck with that, or you can uh, persuade the English to give up on Brexit, and good luck with that. I don't see your way through here. And we will put in place arrangements and we will negotiate those arrangements with the UK that means that businesses do not, in a practical sense, uh, suffer from any of that. And of course, before we get to a point uh, where we're asking people to choose whether or not they want Scotland to become independent, which is the choice of the mm. Scottish people, just mm. as we did in 2014, we will well. set out all of the implications of uh, independence, all of the advantages of independence and all of the practical issues that people have to consider so that people make an informed choice. Uh, but the, the difference between that and what we are suffering right now in Scotland is that mm. Brexit has happened to us. And yes. as I say, it's not abstract. Our companies right now are having to deal with border issues uh, that have been imposed mm. on us completely I'm... against our will. The difference with independence is we look at all of the implications and we make a choice over what in uh, the overall uh, consideration is best for sure. Scotland's interests. Right now, this is all happening to us because we don't yeah. have that choice.